shout hallelujah. hallelujah we have waited upon the lord the first day the second day the third day the loudest amen resolution we answer for you for today before we take our seats we take this prayer from deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 15 as a verdict for these three days deuteronomy 7 verse 15 read the scripture one to go and the lord will take away from thee all sickness i will put none of the evil disease of egypt which thou knowest upon thee what but will leave them upon them that hate thee lift your two hands pray a prayer larry abushia el ketonama every wicked disease el kotamama el kataba lord remove them far away from my family and to mana el kazusa that's the verdict for this third day that's the conclusion of this waiting lift up your voice El Katanama, far from my destiny far from my generation like katonama take away sickness and disease el tumanama let it never be mentioned in my family el katanama whether premature disease or terminal disease every evil disease of egypt Ah, Katama, put them on my enemies. El Kotanamaya, plague them that hate me. Lift up your voice, engage that word of prayer. El Kataba, let it never be mentioned in my generation. Ah, Katanama, El Kazosa, lift up your voice and register your name on that list. He said, The Lord Himself, Jesus the healer, is here for you and for me. Take away far. Ah, Katonama, El Kazotama. And Palanama or Katamama and the name of Jesus and Katanama. That's the conclusion of my waiting. Deliver my generation from sickness and disease forever. And Katonama, lift your voice and enforce your dominion over sickness and disease. And Tonama, this is the conclusion of the matter. Thank you and thank you. In Jesus mighty name we are praying scream the loudest amen tonight marks the end of sickness and disease in your family whatever you have been spending money on all these years it will no longer be needed because that matter shall be sorted out finally tonight the loudest amen your celebration will start from this night be delivered in the name of jesus lord thank you for these three days of waiting Send your word with power. Do what you alone can do. The loudest amen we vow to give you all the glory. Big, big hands. Give God a shout of praise. Please be seated. I have dominion. And I take dominion. Receiving the miracle of instant healing. Part 1C. That's my short message tonight. Receiving the miracle of instant healing, part 1C. We've been running through that the first day, the second day, today is the third day. And I'd like us to start tonight by asking that question, why instant healing? Why? Why must we devote a whole month and all we are provoking? Instant healing, immediate healing, sudden healing. Why? Number one, he has power and capacity to do so right now why instant healing he can do it he will do it faith is now hebrews 11 1. he will never say come back tomorrow he can do it now he has done it before he can do it again hebrews 38 the same yesterday today and forever he said now faith is i will never say come back tomorrow I've cleared sicknesses instantly before. He has capacity to deliver your gesture from sickness. It will happen tonight. Make that amen in our land one. He has cleared before. He doesn't need any assistant doer. He has done it before. If he says he took, sir. Matthew 8, 6, 17. He took. He hasn't changed his mind. Matthew 8, 17. He himself took. He didn't send any messenger. That it might be fulfilled. He himself took. He hasn't retired till now. What he took, he hasn't dropped. 
a loud amen, you are free forever. He has healed immediately before. Too many parts of scripture. Immediately, he was healed. Immediately. We've been told on Wednesday and yesterday, 55 times in the Bible. Plenty of them in the New Testament. Instantly, they were healed. Immediately, they were delivered. The paralytic man, in Matthew chapter 2, 11 and 12, he was there paralyzed for years. Mark 2, they carried him. Mark 2. By verse 11, immediately he arose. You are the next. The man full of leprosy. In Matthew chapter 8, verse 1 to 3. Leprous, abandoned project. Great mortals were there with Jesus. Verse 2 says there was a man, a leper. Abandoned, needed to be clean. And Bible says Jesus reached out to him, touched him. And immediately, leprosy was cleansed. He has done it before. He can do it again. He has capacity to do those kind of instant cleansings. You are the next tonight. The woman with the issue of blood was an abandoned project for 12 years. No marriage, no house, no savings, no car, no dinner. Nobody would invite her out. But it came to pass, Luke chapter 8 verse 44. Bible says she came from behind. Touched Jesus, touched his garment, and immediately she was cleansed. He has done it before. What? He can do it again. He has capacity to do it. He has power to do it. He has a track record of having done for many. He can qualify you for next visitation. If you answer and say, Lord, Amen, you are not going back empty handed. Even with the disciples, he gave them the same grace. Peter at the beautiful gate. The man was there, lame from bath, paralyzed on bath. Verse 2 and 3. He, from his mother's womb, he had been carried at the beautiful gate. He was lame. But there he was on that Saturday day, reaching out to Peter, asking for arms. He said, look on us. And he set his eyes, verse 5, expecting to receive something. And by verse 6, Peter said, Save and God, have I not? In the name of Jesus, rise up and walk. Took him by the right hand. Verse 7, and Bible says, Immediately, the one paralyzed from birth carried strength. You are the next. Scream a loud amen. You are receiving your miracle right here tonight. Before the thing was happening, the abandoned man was leaping, was jumping, was walking. I praise the Lord. Instant miracle is a practical reality in God's kingdom. Instant healing is a practical reality in God's kingdom. We had that testimony tonight. See, and God served and laid hand on him. And went back to South Africa. And checked and checked and checked and checked. Breast cancer disappeared. No matter the case. Scream a loud amen. It must end tonight. Scream a louder amen. Your testimony shall be the greatest one tonight. Even with Paul. Paul was ministering to Aeneas in Acts chapter 9, 34 and 35. He was there preaching and Aeneas fell down and died as a bear. And Aeneas, he said, Aeneas, Jesus Christ, make thee whole. Make thy bed. He arose immediately. The man was cleansed. Sit his heart, to sit his heart and turn to the Lord. Please, brethren, any time God's word is going forth, somebody is getting visited. Every time someone God's word is going for, someone is getting changed. Every time God's word is going for, someone is getting transformed. If you are the next one, wave your hands, make your amen very, very loud. Amen. Jesus Christ still heals instantly. Don't ever rename your name from the list. He has done it before, he can do it again. Number two, why instant healings? You don't pay twice for the same article when you go to the supermarkets. You don't pay twice for the same material when you go shopping. You pay once, you carry go. Yes or no? You go to everyday supermarkets. You go to priceless. You go across the road. Once you pay for the good, carry go. Good news. First Corinthians 6.20. Big for your hands together for the Lord. Good news. First Corinthians 6.20. You are bought with a price. Therefore, don't waste time. Glorify God in your body. In your spirits, it belongs to God. 
when he paid that price he paid completely not yesterday two thousand years ago first peter 224 when he paid that price he paid absolutely not last week two thousand years ago first Peter 224 that by the stripes of jesus ye were healed when he said it is finished auntie close case completely john 1930 that is can never reoccur your destiny that young man had to was trying to get a job and he was had to go through a medical test and by the time he came out the medical test said he had hiv he jumped up and said no i cannot have hiv collected the paper ran to the church the right job in lagos there met god servant at the ground floor as he approached him he said ah i cannot have hiv i cannot have hiv i cannot have hiv he was pointing the finger as he was going to go side, he was pointing the finger. The man said, You want to put the paper inside my eyes? I'm not the one that gave you. Took the paper from him, squeezed the paper, threw it to a guy. You cannot have HIV. Laid hands on him. Get back. You can't have HIV. He went back to the same place. HIV died. Any evil valley that came here with tonight, you are going back. Scream a loud amen. They will never see that devil anymore. That growth disappears right now. That rupture kid disappears right now. That backache disappears right now. That malpation is ended right now. Be healed in the name of Jesus. You don't pay twice for the same offense. If he took it, you cannot have it. If he bore our sickness, you cannot be a victim. Not just that he has capacity, he has paid absolutely. Can never reoccur. Therefore, don't ever negotiate your destiny with any devil. The doctor chair, he said, you have high blood pressure. He said, no. The man said, chair, he said, not just that I don't have, I cannot have. Why? He paid complete. In Isaiah chapter 33, verse 20 and verse 24. Isaiah 33, 20 and 24, he said, look upon Zion, the city of the living God. Thine eyes shall see Jerusalem a quiet habitation. Say, that shall be me. A tabernacle that shall not be taken down. Say loud, amen. amen. Nor the stakes thereof shall never be removed. Neither shall any cause thereof be broken. Whatever is trying to break your destiny. Scream a loud, amen. He shouted here tonight. Amen. Now read verse 24. Read very loud. And the inhabitant of Zion. What? Shall not say. That day is in God's agenda. That day is a prophetic agenda. That day is a vision from heaven. Scream a loud amen. That day is today for you. That that day is coming in living faith church of weary. And that day has come finally now. That they will check you and I check you and I check you and I. They will never say I am sick anymore. If that day is today for you, scream the loudest amen. I'm going free. That day is in God's agenda. We had they will check you from top to bottom. Anywhere you go, national, international. They give you a clean bill of health. That the next 30 years, no more headache. The next 30 years, no more sickness. The next 40 years, no more disease. The next 50 years, no more attack your health. Skim the loudest amen you are going through here tonight. In Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 16 and 17. Jeremiah 30, 16 and 17. Very strong word. Jeremiah 30, 16 and 17. Jeremiah 30, 16 and 17. Saying clearly from the Lord. He said, don't mind what you are saying, no. Even if there's any challenge, Jeremiah 30, 16 and 17, it says directly, are, are all that devour you shall be devoured. I thought I was speaking to believers here this night. And all that adverses, every one of them shall go into captivity. And they that spoil you shall be a spoil. All pray upon thee, I will give them for a prayer. The loudest amen you have an instant miracle here tonight. Now read verse 17, the ladders you can want to go. And I will restore health unto thee. And I will heal all thy disease, said the Lord. Because they call thee an outcast, saying, This is Zion, whom no man seeketh after. The loudest amen your health is restored right now. <laughs> Lift your two hands, prophesy in every way you can. Every devil sitting on my health, every manipulation tormenting my health, I curse you tonight. Lift up your voice. It shall no longer be said among my children, I am sick. It shall no longer be said in my life of my wife, I am sick. Lift your voice. Cause that devil. 
Lift your voice, challenge that manipulation. Lift your voice, harass every harassment. Every negative verdict, every negative verdict, cause to that. It shall no more be said among my children, my grandchildren, I am sick. It shall no longer be mentioned on the dining room table. They will no longer come to my room and say, Mommy, I'm sick. Never again. No health challenge. It can turn about. Cause blood pressure. Cause manipulation. Cause every evil report. Cause every devil. What you don't want, you don't watch. Fight it. No more will I spend my savings from hospital to hospital. Never again. Thank you and thank you. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Ready for good old age? Make your amen the loudest one. Ready for a sickness free life? Make your amen the screaming one. Tonight, somebody ready for an instant miracle? Your two hands, your two legs, let your amen be the loudest one. Remember all that they said to Jarius. He said, Your daughter is dead. Luke 8, 49 and 50. Jesus said, Look, it 49 and 50. Jesus said, Only believe. It's a trouble, not the matter. It's a close case. Maybe they told you that. They said, No, 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 to church, the rich communion. That they said, God never hears this kind of one. That's what the in law said. What did the man answer? He said, This is the kind of one that my God does. <laughs> a loud amen, your God will change your story to now. He said, Fear not, only believe. Once your faith is on the line, instant miracle is your heritage. Once your faith is on the line, instant miracle is your heritage. And that's why quickly tonight I'll take us through a line titled, Engaging the Power of Testimonies for Instant Healing. Engaging the Power of Testimonies for Instant Healing. Why would that woman say, this is the one God heals? She had had many testimonies in church. God can clear this one. I'm the next. Why would that woman run to church and say, I cannot have HIV. I cannot have HIV. He had had many testimonies of HIV cleared just like that. Touch your neighbor. You are the next. Say louder, amen, if you are there. Why would that man bring his wife and say, breast cancer cannot happen? And say, so take God's servant, lay hands, and silence the devil. He has had many testimonies. A woman, each time she's pregnant, to deliver will be like hell for the family. So after the last baby, doctor said, never again, madam. They came to church and began to hear testimonies. And began to hear testimonies. And after one service, she tapped her husband and said, ah, me, I will get Beleo. And when woman tell you that one, you as a man, just get ready for surprise. <laughs> Me, I go get below. He said, never, 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 never. End of discussion. She just tapped him one day. Say now, nah, it don't happen. You will hear good news. The man put his hand on the side. He said, yeah, chine came in, yo. But the baby started growing. And the baby started growing. And the baby started growing. Me, I go get below. Are you not hearing those testimonies? Me, we heard Beleo. I you not hearing those testimonies. And one day she tapped him. He said, Ah, something's moving inside of me. The man remembered all the trouble he has always seen. But she remembered the testimony she was hearing in church. And jumped up and began to go. Where you carry me, go there. I they go myself. She got to the hospital. There was no doctor. The man was running up and down. When there was doctor, there was trouble. Now there's no doctor. Me, I go get Beleo because I don't hear testimony. As they were running up and down, he said, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Oh. Before they put her on the bed, baby came out. Whatever may look like a troubler of your destiny, by the encounter tonight, you are going back with a testimony in the name of Jesus God. There's power in testimonies. Quickly, why? How powerful are testimonies? How powerful are testimonies? How capable are testimonies? One, testimonies are prophetic. To whosoever receives and believes them. How powerful are testimonies? 
How capable are testimonies? Sir, testimonies are prophetic words that I will receive them. That I believe them. They are scriptural prophecies. They will speak your life to the next level. Take them. Revelation 19.10 the testimonies of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. You are the next. They are pointers to what God has reserved for you. If you desire it. They are pointers to what God has reserved for you. If you desire it. You have those testimonies. Breast cancer. So you will never have breast cancer. That amen is loud enough. You have that testimony. This is the kind of sickness God heals in winners. So no matter the sickness around you, anywhere you are living, just carry them to winners. God will heal them. Why? You had a testimony. It's a prophecy. Number two. What's so special about testimonies? Testimonies are spiritual pointers to our heritage in Christ. They are spiritual pointers to our heritage in Christ. Psalm 119 verse 111. 119 said, Thy testimonies have I taken as my heritage forever. They are the rejoicing of my heart. Every testimony, as a young man, you hear, as a lady, you hear, that shows you that's your inheritance. That's your portion in Christ. Go for it. That's your inheritance. That's the portion in Christ. Go for it. Every testimony you have had here, Janet, say now, that you desire, skim a lot, amen, it's your portion from now in Jesus' mighty name. Every testimony you hear, that's God's design for you to connect and take your own. That's God's arrangement. Just connect and take your own. Just plug in and take your own. Had a testimony early this morning. And the man said he was going to pay school fees. And it was looking like the money was not coming. He was waiting for a job. And the man told him he has given to another person. He said, never. For whoever you give, we die. I taught myself. I said, that's violent by taking it by violence. He said, can never. He put his workers there. Can never. He went there. Can never. He has the job. Oh. He has paid school fees. I touch myself. Only the violent can take it by force. Only the violent can take it by force. Everyone that is under my voice, the violence of faith that make you take your healing tonight, take your breakthrough tonight, take your promotion tonight, scream a loud amen. Receive it in the name of Jesus. God is saying, many of us, you are too weak for the blessing you are looking for. You are too careful for the breakthrough you are looking for. You are too careless about the breakthrough you are looking for. Nothing happens by you doing nothing. That one with the issue of blood, she took it by force. When others had, they also went to touch the garment of Jesus and took their own by force. Everything you have in Matthew 14, verse 36. 14, verse 36. The Bible says, I'm besotting that they might only touch the hem of his garment. And as many as touch, like the same woman, they had their own. Stop going to toilet when it's testimony time. Testimony time is not playing games. Testimony time is prophecy time. Testimony time is visitation time. Stop playing with your phone when it's testimony time. It's not that we're winding away the time. God is picking somebody's life to the next level. Your trans, your toilets, your own shall be the next one. Jesus mighty name. Jarius' daughter was brought back to life by Jesus. He said, only believe. The man believed. Luke 8. 51 to 56 and when jesus appeared there to pray for him people were laughing but by verse 54 what did jesus do in 54 what did he do he put them out put the mockers out took her by the hand and declared made her eyes and she arose that shall be your testimony now when peter was there that day the day had the opportunity in acts chapter 9 36 to 40 there was a damsel named tabitha interpreted as docas she died and came to pass verse 37 that in those days she was sick and died and then verse 38 they were in lydia that night the heart that peter was there they said please come and peter verse 39 peter arose and went there when he came they brought him to the chamber where the widow stood and they was weeping and they were showing, go see this woman. And Peter thought, what will I do? He remembered the testimony of Jairus' daughter. Hello. He remembered the testimony of Jairus' daughter. How did Jesus do it? 
testimonies are pointers to your heritage. Don't let them fly away. They show you what to do when you are in trial. They show you what next to do. He say, what will I do? What will I do? You remember that testimony. The first thing that he do, read verse 40, one to go. But Peter wants, he put them all forth and knelt down and prayed. Turned into his body and said, what? Sir, beat her eyes like Jesus did. And what happened? She opened her eyes and sat up. Whatever testimony you have had, I declare the loudest statement shall be repeated in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Number three, testimonies are powerful spiritual weapons for addressing confrontations in life. Stop playing games, my brother. Kingdom business is spirit, serious business. Testimonies are powerful spiritual weapons for addressing confrontations in life. Whether you call them or not, trouble will come, challenge will come, attack will come. It's acceptable for you to be challenged, but it's unacceptable for you to be defeated. David was going against Goliath, one of the hottest challenges in scriptures. A man of war, a giant of war. How can even the whole army of Israel could do nothing? But David had testimony. In 1 Samuel chapter 17, 34 to 37. 1 Samuel 17, 34 to 37. David said, Saul, thy servant kept his father's sheep. There came a lion and a bear and took the lamb from the flock. And I went after him and I smote him. And he ran out of his man. Who, and when he arose, I caught him by the bear. I smote him. I slew him. He said, thy servant slew the lion and the bear. That shall be you. Two hands, two legs. Make your amen the loudest one. Say that this uncircumcised for this, I shall be as one of them. He has insulted the living God. He cannot go free. And then he said, like I killed the lion. I killed the bear. The same God will kill this one for me. Say with me, there's power in testimonies. Say, Lord, I say there's power in testimonies. Say that there's power in testimonies. He engaged the weapon of testimonies and came down with victory. Revelation 12, 11. Revelation 12, 11. They overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of testimony. So testimonies make overcomers out of all those that are challenged. Testimonies make overcomers out of those that are ever challenged. Testimonies make overcomers out of those that are ever challenged. You are the next overcomer. So round up to number four. What's so special about testimonies? Testimonies are faith boosters. For enhancing the replication of the same. Faith boosters. Don't turn your back. Keep believing. It can happen for you. Don't turn your back. You can be the greatest professional. You can be the greatest married man. You can be the greatest student. You can still be here tonight. Testimonies are faith boosters. Can be replicated. That's why Jesus had to challenge them in Mark chapter 6, 52. You mock testimonies, you are disqualified. You celebrate. He said, because they considered not the miracle of the loaves. So they were disqualified. So as you celebrate testimonies, appreciate them, consider them, new level of understanding will come, new lights will come, your faith will come alive, you can dare everything you do on dare go. Once you mock testimonies, you despise them, you short circuit your blessing. You mock them, you, your expectations are crippled, you are disqualified. Once you keep considering testimonies, you shall succeed. Here, my brethren, every time you despise testimonies, you begin to fail. Every time you mock testimonies, you are disqualified. Those that never exalt testimonies don't have one. I've never lost one ounce of the anointing as a minister of the gospel for the last 25 years. Why? Every testimony I hear, I jump at it. I celebrate it. I keen to it. And before I know what somebody is answering for me, at the next. Papa Edipo said he saw the testimony of Sweet People's Word. That the devil was shouting under his steps one day. He came down, what's this noise about? He said, when they saw the devil on his rocking chair, he hissed. <laughs> I'm superior to you. I went back to sleep. 
He said, when he saw that one, something exploded on his inside. If God can do it through this man, then you can walk out on any devil without begging him. That's why when I chapel, devil is under your feet. Do your leg like this. Satan, you are under my feet. Do your head like this. Satan, you are under my feet. Say louder, say Satan, you are under my feet. Say louder, say Satan, you are under my feet. The loudest amen. Any devil torment is under your throne today in the name of Jesus Christ. As I close, therefore, any endless medication in your family is ending tonight. Endless satanic attack is ending tonight. Endless oppression and depression in your family is ending tonight. Be delivered in the name of Jesus. Right where you are seated, whatever will not let you go is flushing out your destiny right now. Scream a loud amen. You will never ever see that devil again. As we close, how do you take hold of instant healing through testimonies? How do you take hold of instant healing through testimonies? Isaiah chapter 8 verse 20. Isaiah 8 verse 20, very direct. Isaiah 8 verse 20, very direct. He said to the law and to the testimonies. If they speak not according to this word, he said it is, there's no light in them. Go up to 16, to the law and testimony. He says 16 says, and then 16 he says, bind the testimony. So, yeah, bind up the testimony. Don't throw them away. So, number one, share and embrace testimonies. Don't throw them away. Share testimonies. Record testimonies. Receive testimonies. Embrace testimonies. Bind them up. Mama Idebo, I served in Canada a few times. You sit near her. She writes notes about testimonies. Just like she writes message. Writes notes on testimonies. Why they are our heritage. So, share testimonies. Receive them. Appreciate them. Two. Uphold testimonies, not just as stories, but as manifestations of the acts of God in our midst. Promote testimonies, uphold them, carry them as major, not just as stories, but these are the manifestations of God in our midst. He can do it again. Uphold them, carry them as a major issue. Why? Hebrews 13, 8, the same yesterday, today and forever. Malachi chapter 3 verse 6 I'm the Lord, I change notes Have testimonies around you Find them, that's why we print Expressing God in action every Sunday Get those testimonies Have them around you The moment you need them, you can die for them Number 3 Search the process And follow the process If you note, when testimonies are shared here, they are guided particularly. Don't come and tell stories. Once I was blind, now I can see. What happened? What did you do? What did God do? Follow the lessons in the, script, in the testimonies. Look out for the lesson. What did this man do? Where did he go? How did he get? So follow those lessons. Follow those lessons. I can never struggle as a minister of the gospel. Why? I have sat down at some point in time in my life as a minister and studied the lessons of my fathers. And thought, how do these men succeed as ministers of the gospel? And at the end of it, one Saturday morning, he spoke to me, Proverbs chapter 22, verse 29. See thou a man diligent in his business. He will stand before kings and not before men men. I can never be an idol minister of the gospel. I can never be an unproductive minister of the gospel. I followed, watch out for their process. As you are hearing me now, sickness is disappearing from your life finally. Why every testimony is a seed that is sown with capacity to produce itself. Every testimony is a seed that is sown having capacity to reproduce itself. Psalm 19 verse 7 Luke 8 to 11 Follow the process Get the same results Follow the process Get the same results Follow the process Get the same results 
the testimony of the Lord is sure on Philip. Number four. Expect every testimony to practically reproduce itself in your life. Follow the process. Number three. Expect the thing to reproduce in your life. How did a woman get married? Follow the process. He must answer for you. What is a God of repeated performance? He doesn't change his mind. If he has done it before, he can do it again. Every testimony practically reproduces itself. Matthew 14 verse 6. Verse Matthew 14 36. Every prophecy is prophetic. Every testimony is prophetic in nature. He must reproduce itself. Revelation 19. Verse 10. Testimonies are spiritual seeds. They must bring forth harvest. Ephesians 121. So Bishop Wedewo can say, what I saw in Spiku's word, 40 years, it hasn't failed. I follow the principle. They also saw the woman touch. She was whole. They touch also. Even the now we are still touching. Yes or no? From one man's testimony. Expect your own to answer. And last number five. Stay on with testimonies intentionally to give back many more. Keep enjoying testimonies intentionally. I have testimonies everywhere in my story, everywhere, all, every book of testimony. I read biographies over and over again. Why surround yourself with testimonies? You will always have to keep having new ones. Surround yourself with testimonies, you keep having new ones. Go for them intentionally. Hunt for them intentionally. When I study men, when a man has something to show, I study him like a hawk. I study him like a hawk. Pick the principles. Some years ago, Pope John Paul, the last Pope, died. And I found I just saw it palm on the internet. And I deliberately studied that life. I came up with 12 things out of that man's life. And I was so excited. As I left my office, I just went to God's service office. I said, sir, something, I saw something on the internet today. I saw the life of Pope John Paul. And I came out with 21, sorry, with 12 things on his life. He said, hey. He said, hey. He said, hey. He said are you sure you have God? I said, I have. He said, just go. Me, I saw it too. I came out with 21. I said, no problem. Me, I saw 12. This I tried, I saw something. That's why you're my father. I study every life. Or something to why testimonies are spiritual arrows they give birth according to as they are sent. I want to say to you, brethren, in this commission, we don't know sickness, we don't know disease, we don't know affliction. Whatever may look like he has troubled you now, the loudest amen this night you look for that devil, you don't find it anymore. You belong to this family that knows no sickness and disease. You can't be a hospital project. You belong to this family that doesn't know health crisis. You cannot be a victim. It's time for you to put up a fight and take over what belongs to you right now. Jump on your feet. What you don't want, you don't watch it. Cause it right now. Open your mouth wide. Today is the third day. I cannot keep spending on this sickness. Enough is enough. Lift your voice up to declare. I belong to a healthy family. I cannot be a healthy project. Open your mouth wide and react. 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 I cannot be spending money from hustle to hustle. To. Enough is enough. Every childhood sickness, clear it tonight. If you have had testimony on that matter, take your own part right now. 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 Eye disease must clear. Ear disease of 10 years must clear. Make back pain of 3 years must clear. Neck disease, neck issue of four years must clear. Lift your voice. You do not have to be sick. Stop nursing sickness and disease. Fight it. You don't have to be sick. Stop nursing sickness and disease. Fight it. You don't have to be sick. You don't have to be a victim. Stop nursing it. Stop being a prayer project. Enough. It's enough. 
how I have had plenty of testimonies of sadness of health. I've had plenty of testimonies of good old age. I've had testimonies of sickness free life. I take my portion tonight. Lift your voice and react this night. Lift your voice and take what belongs to you this night. It's the third day of this fasting. Settle this matter once and for all. It's the third day of this fasting. Settle this matter once and for all. It's the third day of this fasting. Settle this matter once and for all. In Catanona, in Paracasosa, in Catatuta, in Paragosa, in Pacatona, in Paracacaca, Lusa Gatona, in Pazosa. Liana Mushaba, whatever will not let you go must go for your sake tonight. Whatever will not let your star shine must end tonight. Enough is enough, enough is enough, enough. That stroke must clear. In Katanoma, the cancer must disappear. That manipulation must end. Depression must end tonight. Oppression must end tonight. Depression must end tonight. What will not let you sleep well at night? Ikatona, Empakasoa, Elkasosa, Mary Abakata. Thank you and thank you. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Whatever will not let you go, scheme and not amen, it goes for you tonight. Whatever will not let your stature and scheme the Lord has amen, the chains are broken tonight. Be delivered in the name of Jesus. Wherever you are, you want a brand new life. Only Jesus can save. Only Jesus can save. Lift your right hand and say to Jesus, I surrender. You want to be born again tonight. You want to be free from sin. You don't want to be a victim. Lift your right hand high. And I like you. Come quickly. God bless you. Come here. Let me just pray with you. I want to be free. I want to be free indeed. Or you know you lost it. You want to be rededicated tonight. Rush out here quickly. I want to rededicate my life for a new beginning. Keep clapping and say, come here. I want to rededicate my life. I want a new beginning. I want a new chapter. I want a new life. The more you clap, the faster they come. Also, if you are here for the first time, first time, let me pray for you also. The first time, let me pray for you also. Come quickly. And come prepared. Today is your fight. It's your first time. Keep coming. I want to pray for you. Can I have the stewards step forward? Tonight is your first time. Come quickly. Or you want to be saved? Also come. You want to be born again? Also come. The more you clap, the faster they come. Tonight is your first night. Keep coming. Tonight is your first night. Come in front of me here. Tonight is your first night. Come in front of me here. You want to be born again? On my left hand. You want to surrender your life? On my left hand. God bless you. Keep coming, keep coming. Everybody, stretch your hand to the communion table and declare, I want this kind of life of Jesus. This sickness-free life. This disease-free life. This affliction-free life. This trouble-free life. Enough is enough. I draw the line tonight. Akazama, I'm taking from here a life of testimonies. Sir, you're welcome. And then, just Father, in the name of Jesus, it's your son coming here for the first time. Let beauty answer about this life. Let dignity answer about this life. Let the joy of being a part of this healthy family become a special from tonight. And I declare from this night, every trouble you saw till now, you never see again in the name of Jesus. You are blessed in Jesus' name. Open your eyes. Follow this pastor. You're welcome. Church, ask the Lord at this table, let divine nature answer for me. At this table, let divine life answer for me. At this table, let divine life answer to me. Let divine health answer to me. Lift up your voice and begin to declare after the order of the testimonies you have heard. I'm taking my instant healing tonight. I'm taking my instant deliverance tonight. I'm taking my instant liberty tonight. El Kazata Malona, El Kazazama, El Kabababa, El Kazata Mania, El Kazosana, the Riana Mosa Kataba. Thank you and thank you. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. At this table tonight, a lot of amen, newness of life, we answer for somebody. Hear this testimony. A lady met God's servant in Portacot. 
I said to him, sir, this is my sickness will never go. He said, exactly. Since your sickness, it will never go. This is my sickness will never go. He says, since your sickness will never go. Then she changed her mind. I said, sir, I want to be delivered. That every night, any time she sleeps, a wave keeps coming. Somebody enters the room, lands on her, attacks her, and destroys that life. Every other night. He said, but God said, you want to be free? He said, yes. He fired two shots to the door. Newness of life. I said, get back at any time. In the name of Jesus, no more darkness. The next night the devil appeared, there was no more entrance. The name of Jesus had created a barrier. As you take this communion tonight, whatever has been attacking you, oppression, depression, harassment, affliction, by order of testimony, be free tonight in the name of Jesus. This very hour, the trouble you saw before you came here, in loud amen, you will never see the name of Jesus. Ready for your own instant miracle, stretch your hand here and take it with the loudest. Amen. It is done. Take this meal, say to yourself, my own instant miracle must answer here tonight. My own instant healing must answer here tonight. My own instant testimony must answer here tonight. I take it. I take it. Let's go. Go and sing. Jehovah Jireh, He's my Lord. Jehovah Jireh, He's my Lord. Jehovah Jireh, He's my Lord. The healing. Jehovah Rapha. Jehovah Rapha, He's my Lord. Jehovah Rapha.
up on your feet and scream. Tonight is that service where everybody goes back with the testimony. Everybody goes back with an instant miracle tonight. Every trial shall be turned to a testimony. Every harassment shall turn to a miracle. If you are going back with your own testimony, let that amen be the loudest one. Your testimony of instant miracle is settled already. Make that amen louder. Your testimony of total health, a loud amen, receive it now. Why? Good news, good news, good news. In practical terms, we have crossed the 5,000 prophetic mark of roller church planting. 5,000 cross and cross and cross. If you are excited, scream the loudest, hallelujah. Last on Wednesday, 48 churches were planted in one day. 48 churches. Are you clapping? Just this Wednesday, we had crossed 5,000 before. Now we have crossed overwhelmingly. In Noweri, this Sunday, we are planting another 15 churches. Are you clapping? We have crossed and crossed and crossed. Because God said it. We believed it. And we have the testimony. That means whatever you came back for, came here for. You, whatever, you came for one, ten, we answer for you. You came for ten, a hundred, we answer for you. I say you came for a hundred, a thousand, we answer for you. Scream a loud amen, you have the greatest testimony. Now we just dance for a few minutes, your own testimony, don't go back home with it. Share it, let's celebrate it, and God will perfect it. That ache disappear, that pain disappear, that movement disappear, that trouble bend down the way you have never bent before thumb the way you have never turned before jump out here share them don't hide them we'll sing quickly rush out here everybody has an instant miracle if you have one say loud amen, amen. now come and share rush out here very quickly let's go Just come. We'll lift you up on our faces. Just come. Arise, 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 arise. Take your place. Be a strong on our praise. Arise, we love thee, holy God, as we see.
than one minute, let's put these testimonies and we're good to go. Clap for Jesus, your own is there. Bigger, better, bigger, better. Now let's go. Stay where you are so we can do quickly. This is the Lord. Dave Amiono, 25 years of severe pain in the chest arising from arrow of uh, injection. Heal instantly in Jesus. Are name. you clapping for Jesus? Come on, give God a shout. 25 years. 25 years arrow return back to center. Any kind of arrow tormenting you here tonight. Your two hands, your two legs, the largest amen return back to the center tonight. Are you clapping? Are you clapping? For how long? Please always put how long. Please always put how long. Praise the Lord. Uju Oku. Noise in the year for four years. Yell in this service. Are you hearing? Hello, ma. How long was the cough for? The cough was how long? Okay. The cough this evening is gone completely. How long have you had the coughing? Okay. It started today. It ended today. Yeah, go ahead. Praise the Lord. I want to give God thanks for what he did after I partook of communion yesterday. I was having the signs and symptoms of malaria yesterday. After the violent prayer and the communion yesterday, the signs and symptoms cease. Amen. I am healed and strong. Violent prayer works. Jesus is indeed the healer. From Jump Brother on your Chica. feet and scream the loudest. Hallelujah. 25 years arrow return back to the sender. Four years trouble return back to the sender. And the pain of today is turned back to the sender. Is God not a good God? All these testimonies are permanent in the name of Jesus. They will never reoccur in your life in the name of Jesus. And I declare from now, total health shall be your portion. In Jesus' mighty name. Put your hands together for that. Please get back to your seats. That's prophetic. Stretch your hands here. I declare from now, every testimony you had here shall be replicated in your life in the name of Jesus. Every testimony you have had in Shiloh, every testimony you have had in now you desire, in Lada, amen, you are the greatest testifier in the name of Jesus. Your sleep tonight shall be a restful one. No oppression in your life. No depression in your life. Ready for it all and make your amen the loudest one. The testimony of the third day going back home with you is screaming amen. It is yours from now. You are blessed. In 24 hours, whatever it is that you are expecting God to do for you these three days, you have a practical evidence in your hand in the name of Jesus Christ. It is done in Jesus' mighty name. Please note, tomorrow morning is a highly prophetic day. Covenant our prayer 6 to 7. And 7 a.m. will be a leadership empowerment summit. All workers, all leaders, all men and women for duty before the Lord. We are here together. All those that have registered for the squad. Please come and the Lord will bless you. And Sunday morning, bring all your family. Family matters, family issues, family photographs, family clothing, papers on family matters, and God will sort you out. He healed them all. All manner of sickness and disease. Make sure you have something in your hand for your family when you are coming on Sunday. Lift your two hands, go in peace. As you go, things shall go well for you. Every child gets ready to go back to school. I declare supernatural help. We answer for everyone in Jesus' mighty name. Every child, the spirit of excellence will answer for us in the name of Jesus. And I declare you will never see a setback in your health again in the name of Jesus. Be blessed in Jesus' mighty name. Has God done you well these three days? Wave your hands and say, Jesus Christ the healer is here for me. Wave your hands and say, Jesus Christ the healer is here for me. Make it a louder, Jesus Christ, the healer is here for me. And then wave and shout, thank you, Jesus. It is done. Your sleep tonight shall be refreshing. Some new alerts will arrive in your phone before Sunday morning. Let's share the goodness together, one to go. Surely, God's goodness and men shall follow me. All the days of my life, I shall dwell in the house of the Lord. Forever, amen, peace, the loudest you can. I have dominion. And I take dominion. Congratulations, God bless you. Please help me. 
Look at 20 of your neighbors. Tell them congratulations. Your own testimony shall be the greatest one. Congratulations. Your own testimony shall be the greatest one. See you tomorrow. And Sunday morning, you are blessed.